thanks so much for stopping by and welcome to this very special, what's sure to be magical, one of a kind unboxing of this Beauty and the Beast themed cake. First of all, let me start off by saying how incredibly happy I am that my girl Belle is finally getting the spotlight in Japan, especially in Japan Disney. She's not one of the top three princesses to get so much love and this is one of the ways that they've decided to show it this year and this is from a company called Ginza Cozy Corner and they have several locations throughout Japan and what's great about this company is that they do themed cakes and not just holiday or seasonal themed cakes I'm talking about character themed cakes and as you can see here based on Disney movies and this is one of their specialty cake collections because it's not just one cake it's multiple cakes in the form of many characters and you'll see what I mean as we take a closer look when I unbox but first as is always the case here on my channel I love to showcase the packaging design because it's always worth checking it out Japan does packaging really well because the experience starts with your eyes so let me start by showing you the top of the box first and there are various designs decorating the entirety of this box so what we have here on the very top is that ever famous ballroom scene and then we have the supporting characters who are just as well known I would say Mrs. Potts, Chip, Lumiere and Cogsworth down here at the bottom and on the side panel where you would be taking out the cake is a set of three emblems or three shields and within each shield is like a stained glass one of them being the Beast's castle, the other being of Belle and the Beast or rather Prince Adam dancing and then we have the Beast being cursed by the Enchantress all beautiful stained glass scenes from the animated movie and going over to the right we have Belle playing around with the Ottoman uh, Sultan with Chip and she's also holding on to a heart-shaped frame and what we have in the middle of the panel is the name of this particular collection Petit Gâteau stands for mini cakes or small cakes this is of the Beauty and the Beast collection we have a collage sort of design going on here with rows and rows of roses and like fleur de lis or flourishes along with enchanted objects as we see in the magical rose and the mirror the last panel we have once again of Belle this time with a different character with Babette or Bimpet depending on who you ask with the same shield emblem that we saw earlier and now without further ado let us proceed with the unveiling of the petite cakes Here we have the entire set of nine petite cakes of the Beauty and the Beast collection and I'm pretty sure you can guess right off the bat which ones or which characters are supposed to be representing and without further ado, let's get started with the first one. The first petite cake we have here is a Mrs. Potts and Chip Ensemble. I'm guessing the actual cake itself is supposed to represent Mrs. Potts. The base of Mrs. Potts is a wraparound plastic design and I simply just adore her little boy Chip hanging right on top of her. Our favorite candelabra is a cheese mousse and it is orange flavored and it is in the shape of a tart. The cheese mousse makes up the base of Lumiere which is right on top of this tart. The lovely feather duster of Babette is in the form of a chocolate cream tart. The base of her feathers are represented by a dollop of chocolate mousse and vanilla cream. And very similar to Lumiere, she is set right on top of another tart. And this time, it's a chocolate one. Cogsworth here is being represented in the form of a caramel cream coffee roll cake. And unlike Babette and Lumiere, who both have bases to represent their bodies, what we see here is simply Cogsworth's face. The features of his face are set on this cake by a wraparound plastic. The footrest sultan is a mango cream and raspberry gelée cake. The outer covering of his body is represented by the red and orange stripe on the top and his yellow tassels or legs are represented by this dollop of mango cream frosting. I was really surprised to see the castle being represented here and it is in the form of a white chocolate cream tart. 
the white chocolate being that huge dollop of white cream set on top of a jam-based tart. And we can't have Beauty and the Beast without the enchanted rose, which is represented here by a simple cup of peach jelly. The jelly is colored to represent the same color as the rose, though not as deep a red. The Princess of the Hour Belle here is represented by a lemon-flavored chocolate cream tart. Her iconic ball gown is, of course, the lemon cream. I really like that they used some chocolate frosting on top to represent her hair. And if you're able to see it closely, you can see some golden flakes scattered across the chocolate frosting. And finally, we have the Master of the Castle being represented here by a chocolate crunch mousse cake. The chocolate mousse makes up the majority of the base of the cake, followed by some blue glaze on top, sprinkled with a few gold flakes to represent his blue ballroom jacket. And just like Belle, there's some chocolate frosting on top, and this time it's to hold a pair of his horns. And those are the 9 petite cakes that you can get in this collection. The entire set retails for a price of 2,500 yen, with tax it comes out to 2,700 yen. It's always interesting to see how this shop was able to incorporate several concepts and colors and designs to represent various characters from a given movie. There's really something for everyone here. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing and giving this a like. Please check out my channel for more Japan Disney videos, including Tokyo Disney. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.